Good evening viewers, welcome back to Delroy's Garage. This is episode 3 of uh, Project Belly Pan. Um, first little job to make, got them done now. These are the side pieces, the sort of fundamental templates that will make the correct shape. Um, now I just want to have a buzz up of these, the old lap wheel, um, and just bring the two sides, because obviously they're cut separately, um, just want to bring these two sides into exact equilibrium to make them perfect so that when I put the front piece on it lays absolutely flat. Uh, so the first job, a bit of grinding, clean them up a bit and then it's bolt them on the bike and then I've got to make the front piece. So let's get cracking on this. Okay, phase two, got this on now. Uh, on this particular side I've had to cut back significantly here because this uh, thick part of the frame, this kind of chunky knuckle on the frame, just kept bending this corner out. So I cut that right back, give it a nice little edge, and you've still got plenty of meat in there to hold that on. So these are now bolted absolutely straight and absolutely tight. And what I've got to do now, uh, I've also lapped the remaining powder coat off because it was, I don't need it. All right, so next task is just to measure this front measure across there uh, and up to there and get myself a template cut for that front and then get that sawn out nice and straight really important it's dead straight so that's I'll get it exact in a minute gonna do it in new money I think it's easier that's uh, 163 so 165 to give me some spare on the top and at the bottom that's handy to measure the distance between there and there is exact all the way down so that shows that they're parallel and that none of the way that they're bolted on is kinking them because obviously it will just be cockeyed if it isn't straight so that is an absolutely parallel space all the way down now so I can just cut a perfect rectangle I've just got to measure that which is 165 give me a little tiny bit of spare to weld and grind and that wherever that is okay so let's get that measured up, get a template cut, and then start transferring it to the steel. There we are. But first, this is a quick template. There you are, card template, as usual. And that just as sizer. Bit hard to get it to stay there. That's pretty much it. Uh, I've come up a bit because here, what I want to do is notch round the frame, which will look quite trick. Just sort of makes it look a bit snooped in. Um, but that's. Pretty much the right size. That gives me about a mil and a half either side of these outside. So that will just be a nice grindable space. Don't want to make a complete butt joint because it'll it's just not secure. Uh, overlap it a little bit, and then it'll be a nice sealed joint. Right, cut this out still.
fun, I had to cut through two layers. Right, that's it. Get that in a minute. Okay, so that's the front, and that's the underneath. That's just got to be curved. So let's get about some measurements. Uh, firstly, um, if you can see jigsaws are notoriously difficult to control getting them straight. You can usually get it pretty straight, but if you can see, get the camera at the right angle, down that line, it's just a little bit wavy. Um, so I'm just going to lap that back so it's dead straight. Um, the line's straight because I drew the line straight. Uh, all the others are absolutely perfect. That's a complete straight line. Just need to lap these then into shape. Um, it's just the old disc 100 grit. It's going to lap them in, get them both into exact shapes. Nice and right angles. Get all the burrs out. There's another one there. Kind of goes a bit seasick. So that's going to get all straightened up uh, and then they're ready to measure on the bike. Right, now time to show these to the bike. Let's see what we can do. I've left them bolted on. That's the same idea. So this is going to be the base. Go up and under. That'll be a nice... Looking at that, that's nice and square. Curve there. It's got a little twist in it. Ah, got to lap that side. Try harder, boy. All right. Once that's, I was just going to flatten that. It's got a little twist from cutting. Uh, that'll go nice. And this one, that's going in there, but it's got to be curved yet. So, got a method of doing that. Now, I had a little mail from my old mate terrorist one in Melbourne. Right, buddy. Uh, just suggested cutting that piece out of a drum or a oil can or something. It's a pretty good idea, but the drums are usually pretty crap metal. And actually trying to weld something like that, you're not really going to end up with a very good product. And this is an old trick, done this loads of times. Kind of one handed here. Get your friendly fire extinguisher. Now that's a pretty strong curve. And it's completely round. It's too much of a curve for what I want, but it doesn't matter because it's going to work. It's just going to bend it round there. I can set you up here. This is a. It's a bit of trial and error. This sort of a bit Heath Robinson. And obviously, if you had a solid item like this, that you didn't have to worry about getting hot. Obviously, pressure cylinder. Don't even go there, but if you could, then you could heat the sheet up, bend it around. The idea is, this is 14 gauge, 2 mil. Uh, it's worked in the past. Let's just see. Gives you a nice steady curve with no individual kinks. Get up on it. You can relax the curve just by opening it up and you can just adjust it as you go along. But if you ain't beating it, then you're not going to put any dents in it. And that's a pretty Pretty 
smooth curve. There's no kinks or anything to that. And obviously because that is a nice cylinder, it's a straight curve. It's not twisted that way or that. Again, forgot to lap that. Bugger. Right, so that's too much. I'm going to have to open that out. But that's easy. Just gently open it bit by bit. So it's just a case of offering it up to the bike a few times and get the angle right. So, time to play. All right. So quite simply, that's way too much, but it's ever so easy. Just on a flat surface, just relax that in the center so you don't open up one end more than the other. Just a little bit at a time, not putting any flats in it or any kinks. Just open out the curve. Probably gave that a bit too much whirly actually. But it's coming back. You can see it's just a case of manipulation. not much of a curve at all. You think it's got a curve but it just isn't. Not much to it. And the nice thing is doing it around the old fire extinguisher like that. You get a nice smooth constant curve. If you go a bit too far you can always back of it. And these corners are really sharp, that's why I'm wearing gloves. I'm not a girl. <laughs> for you silly. Okay, moved on a bit now. Um, what I've done, just sort of lapped all the rest of the powder coat off it, uh, just to get it into one finish. Uh, this just stuck it together with some tape for now to show you the idea. That's now the right curve. It's a nice smooth curve. There's no ripples in it. Uh, and when that's painted, it will definitely show up if that's got kind of a crease there and there. So it's, that's a nice curve. Um, I had to trim this back up here because uh, it was sort of there. I had this idea of notching it around the frame, but ah, whatever. Just cut it across there. That's cool. Um, may sort of do something decorative with it because it's a bit of a block. But it, wait to see till we get it in primer and do that. That's all body work for later on. Uh, and when I get it to the welding stage, I've got the base done. Um, that will go up underneath. And the frame hits there. So really, I'm only about an inch. I run out of metal. That is all I've got. That's it. This piece, this steel shelf I've used to make this out, this scrap bit of metal. That's it. There's nothing more usable. Uh, and I've come about one inch short. And that's not the end of the world. That'll be fine. Uh, so when I start tacking this, it's going to be a case of keeping everything straight, almost like I need a jig. The best jig is the bike, really, um, but that will be, we'll see what we do when we come to that. So that's all it is. There you go. That's for tonight, another three hours. Um, you see it takes quite a long time to make this stuff, just to get it exact, measuring it, bending it, twisting it, cutting it, getting it lapped and, and trimmed so it's perfect. Making the parts is is sort of half of it, tacking it up and then welding it so it stays nice and straight and not a big twisted mess. That's the other half and that's all to come. So that's it so far. Another three hours. See what happens with this tomorrow. So thanks for tuning in and watching Doughboy's Garage. See you tomorrow for a bit more.